Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal. Last episode, we entered Goldenrod City. I'm really excited to see what's going on here. Welcome. How may I help you? All right. So we have all these pills. Wow, they're 9,800 Poke Dollars each. I feel like I'm not. I feel like this game has significantly less Poke Dollars than you should have. Because good lord, I am poor. So this stuff raises your Pokemon stats permanently. Ooh. Huh. Oh, wait, maybe this is okay. Uh, but I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure giving them, like, all these, like, pills and stuff actually makes them not like you as much or something. And if they don't like you as much, bad things happen. <laughs> I don't know what those bad things are, but... <coughs> oh, and the sneezes begin. Hey, I love strong Pokemon. I feed them protein to crank up their attack. Yeah, that sounds very helpful. If I get all the money in the world, I don't your Pokemon. I just wanted to see if anyone in the store says, like, oh, it makes them ink. Let me follow up being traded via game link cable. I know four. Machoke, Kadabra, Haunter, and um, Graveler. Okay, I heard of these. Are, there are others, too. Like, of course, you had to give me the most like common ones that everybody knows. Wait, were those all Gen 1? That was all Gen 1 Pokemon. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Is this the last floor? Nope, it's not. Uh, I bet this is the TM Center, though. Welcome. How may I help you? Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh, these are actually pretty cheap. I could buy one of them. Hold on, let me. I was gonna actually, because I figured there'd be a TM store. I was gonna look it up off screen. Um, I did not. Uh, TM41 is. Thunder Punch! That's pretty good. Um, TM40. Is it pretty good? I'm not actually sure. <laughs> uh, it is. Fire Punch. Oh, these are all punch, I bet. That would be pretty good. I should probably get that. Wait, what is, um, Fire Punch? What is, what power is that? Power 75. Hmm. I think I might get that one. We'll see what else we have here. TM33 is, no, not Reflect, like, Ice Punch. Okay, so these are all the punches. What, which is, this is an ice type, right? Yeah, it's a type ice. So, and TM02, um, is Head Butt, which, Oh, no, wait, do I have Headbutt Array? I have Headbutt Array, do I not? Yeah, Headbutt's the one that knocks him out. Attack that may make a flow, flow flinch. <laughs> oh, no, which one was uh, Fire Punch now? <coughs> um, Ice Punch. What is this? Fire Punch, there we go. TM... TM48, there we go. Okay, let's get that one, shall we? It's 75 power. We'll have... Would I have stab with me though? I hope so. Let's see. What what is my oh no? Sin de quill. Oh no, I don't know how to spell Sin de Quill. Sin? Oh no. Sin No. I have no idea how to spell Sin de Quill. Let's let's assume it's gonna cause stab. It should, right? Is it, oh god dang. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Oh, oh it does oh it says right there, a fiery punch may cause a burn. I'm an idiot. Although I didn't say that all of them. Yeah, with five polka dollars left. Good god. How many how many uses does it have though? Let's see how many uses it has. It has PP15. That's not bad. Um no. Wow. So far it's definitely seeming like I chose the right starter because I've had seen a lot of grass and bug types, which you know, super effective stuff. And uh I don't know which one is it again. 45. Oh, right. Uh, it says it right there. I'm an idiot. God. Alright, let's not be an idiot and teach us to the wrong. Or get rid of the wrong move. Naraku. What? Of course. I'm a little squirrel thing. Well, then. <laughs> that sucks. And we're not gonna even get another fire Pokemon either. Oh, god damn. Oh, well. Maybe we'll sell it. Maybe we'll get, like, a. Something to deal with the Lucky Channel if you want to win, trade Pokemon with as many people as possible to get different ID numbers. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's in this town, isn't it? What is this? If you're tired, try the vending machine drink. This is like a carbon copy, carbon copy of like the Gen 1 vending machine, or like set up for the, uh, um, the big department store. That's interesting. Oh, wait, can we go to the ceiling? I'm on floor six. 
Hold on, let's see if we can go to the ceiling. <clears throat> oh, you can! Look at that! Yeah, yeah, like I said, this is a freaking carbon copy. Wee! I'm tired. I sometimes come to the rooftop or take a break from shopping. Is there gonna be a thirsty guy up here, too? Oh, wow! Will you quit bothering me? Oh, sorry, dude. Sorry, dude, bro. Oh, I bet there's a thirsty guy in the top left there. Uh, they have bargain sales here every so often. Maybe, maybe this is just in this game. I'm just like, pardon me, who says an adult kick it to this? Spend it back every day, collect all the dolls. Dolls. Game machine for Pokemon dolls. Insert money and then turn the crank, but it's almost empty. Oh, interesting. Maybe that's like a limited time thing. Oh no, we can't go behind there? I want to see if we get to whatever the heck this is. Huh. Is that anything? Nope. Okay, let's uh, see if we can use one of these guys. Some trainers are battling on the road. A Pokemon fired a flurry of leaves. It makes me feel like battling. Right now, of course it does. <laughs> is there anything different? But it lets me see you far away. Maybe I can see with see my own house. Is this the one with the green roof? <laughs> I don't even know what my own house looks like anymore. Uh, it'd probably be wiser to use the elevator, but you know what? Maybe not. Alright, so that was a failure. Um, should not have gotten fire punch, apparently. It's fine. <laughs> We only wasted 3,000 poker dollars and I'm poor as hell. <laughs> the radio tower goal is a landmark. They're running a promotional campaign right now. So I'm pretty sure this is like the biggest. I don't know if I so I'm pretty sure this is the biggest um, city in this entire game. So there's gotta be a gym here, right? Hmm, so we have Flash and we have Cut. What, what would be next? I don't think it's Surf. And I don't, it can't be fly yet. Those are too OP, right? I feel like those are, it's too soon to get either of those, like, two, like, main ones. But I don't know what else, I don't remember any of the HMs. You're playing, oh, I guess we got Dig, which kind of sucks, but the game core. I think it was the gambling center, right? Which I don't really care, but I do feel like I should show it off. Couldn't wear this hot and I blew it on, oh, card flip it, that's so free. I just realized I lost all my money, so. <clears throat> okay, coin case, in the oh, okay, so there's a hint. Get a coin case underground. Taught Blizzard to my Pokemon. It was hard to get enough coins for it, but it was worth it. Oh yeah, you could use like coins you win from these machines, which coins are different than Poke Dollars. Keep in mind. You coins. Oh, you don't have a coin case for your coins. Oh, I bet there's like. What do you do? What do you say? I won't quit till I win. Wow, that's a gambling addiction, right there. Welcome. We exchange your game coins for fabulous prizes. Oh, you don't have a. Co oh, really? I can't do any of this. All right. So we gotta get a coin case. I think we can actually find coins in some of these machines too, if I remember correctly. See, now that I'm here, it is, it, this stuff is coming back to me a little bit. We, this is one big town. I don't know where anything is. <laughs> it's not that big, calm down. Probably pretty big for Game Boy standards though. Underground entrance, aha. There's a coin case down here somewhere apparently. Oh God, there's some shops downstairs, really? But there are also trainers. Oh, I'm scared to go down there. All right, thanks for the warning, girl. Oh, I think there's Drowsy's just north of this town, I think I read. There's something north of this town that I might want. Oh, you collect Pokemon? My son... My son, Bill. Oh, I, I read this ball. I was like, your son, Ball? What did I mess up here? <laughs> He's got called to the Pokemon Center in Ecritique City. Ecritique. Ecritique? My husband went off to the GM corner, game corner without being called. Are you a trainer? I've got a useful phone number for you. Yeah, see? This is... Bill's number. See, I feel like it's very important to talk to everybody. My big brother Bill made the PC Pokemon search system. Alright, let's try Is it this one. Is there gonna be more stuff here eventually? Bug collector, picnicker, oh god, all this text is all crowded together. I could delete numbers? Oh geez, what number of space we have? It's Pokemon storage system, administration service. Who's calling? Chris, is it? Hold on a second. Thanks for waiting, Chris, you're your box has room for 15 more Pokemon. That seems useless. Go there and fill it up. Why would I? Why? I have more boxes. Is there only room for one more person? Or is it always just like one line underneath? Well, I hope we don't have to start deleting numbers. Sure is. It sure is a TV, alright. Where are we now? Wow, we've like. You've traveled half the world already, pretty much. That is, uh. Oh, we're going. Oh, this is. I think this lays out the map of where we. Mount Mortar, huh. Mahogany Town. Huh. I want to know what town this. Is. Yeah, that's Violet City. Okay. Hold on. Let's go up here. 
Colorado City. Okay, so look, this kind of gives me the route of how we go. So we're in Mill National Park, hey? It looks like Ecratuk City's next, followed by Olivine City. Oh, I forgot about that city down there. Cyanwood City, then Mahogany Town. Was it the last time the game? Is probably Blackthorn City. That does sound like a very last. And plus, it's close to my old hometown too. So yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, what else do we have here? Underground entrance. I don't think I want to go down there yet. What are you? Oops. Oh, that's a game center. I didn't even mean to walk in, but that might have been a bit quicker than actually reading the sign. <laughs> I don't know. Is that man the black dressed up like a Team Rocket member? How silly. Oh, is it Halloween? Is this the freaking clown situation? Which guy in black? The train has to come in. I know. I'll carry the passengers on my back. <laughs> That won't work. You silly goose. This is a train station. I wonder what that means. I don't know anything about this place. I feel like this is like a cable link thing. They built the radio tower. Oh, that's right. The place, the old creaky one. Oh, it's, uh... Hello. This is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest? Scram! <clears throat> no plot in here. Welcome. Hi, are you here for the lucky number show? I'm gonna check IDs of your Pokemon. Sure, if you get lucky, you'll win a prize. We guys do. What if I did? I'm pretty sure Chuck Carter actually did this every day during his Let's Play. I think I don't I have no idea if he ended up winning or not. Sales, personal, personnel, production, director's office. Sure, let's go for a little wickety walk. A special quiz campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Slide into your book gear. Play the radio time anyway. Anyway, would you like to take the quiz? Yeah, sure. Why? Question one: Is there a Pokemon that appear only in the morning? Yeah, that I know. That's obvious. I'm a little worried about this. Statement correct. Uh, you can't buy a berry out of Mart. Probably. Okay, that that does make sense. Bullseye. Question three: Does HM1? Contain flash? Oh no. Yeah, that was just. Uh, that was all pure luck. This Falcon with the violet. Oh no. Fal Falk? Yeah, Falcon, Faulkner. Yeah. Well, oh, there's three variables there. Not gonna mess me up. Golden Rod's game corner slots have Charmander. Oh, I have no idea. I don't know. Oh, thank God that was 50 50. I had no idea. I haven't looked at them yet. <laughs> I was leaning more towards yes. I'm glad I didn't. This Pokegear can now double as a radio. Oh, that's awesome! So let's test that out. Pokegear. Boy. Mary, Professor Oak's Pokemon Talk! Yeah! Pokemon Talk with me, Mary! Pidgeotto may be seen around uh, Route 37. Pidgeotto's pro provocatively bold, pro provocatively bold, sort of. Oh, Jigglypuff may be seen around Route 35. Jigglypuff's sure addictively stimulating. What the hell? Right, oh god, may be seen around everywhere. <laughs> Rattata is a silly goose. Looks, Rattata's looks in water is stimulating. What the hell is Growlithe? Growlithe sounds pretty good. Are you seeing around? Route 36. Growlithe, just so flipped out and lovely. Flipped out? What a weird Raticate. Why? Does, is this just going forever? I don't care about freaking Mary's Wiggly and Slicky. Just start over? Oh no, oopsies. Alright, let's keep moving here. Maybe that changes? Pokemon music? <laughs> it's me, DJ Ben. Today's Tuesday, so let us jam to Pokemon March. Oh, that's cool. I thought it was gonna maybe do like a sound test thing, but. Oh, that's cool, so it's always on. So you always know it's Pokemon March. That's cool. Yeehaw! How y'all doing now? Whether you're up or way down low. Don't you miss the lucky number show. This week's lucky number is, yeah. I'll beat that. Oh, it's really necessary, man. 
Ugh. Match it too and go to the radio tower. Yeehaw! Oh, oh, he just he just says it again. How much more is this? You not here? Today's password? I don't know. Let me think. It's flying! What is this for? Don't forget it. Flying. I'm in Goldenrod's radio tower. Oh! Flying. Okay. Mm, I wonder if they'll make me type that in or if... Oh, please only be like one more. Maybe even be zero more. It's oddly very kind of hauntingly how quiet it is. Oh, Mary from- Oh, here she is right now! I don't know what she sounds like, though. Oh, never mind, this isn't her. She's gonna be upstairs. Ben is a fabulous DJ. See, voice makes me melt. Oh, I bred that weird. Um... <laughs> Lucky channel. Win with- Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I, I think Jack Cody actually won that a few times. Maybe? Maybe I'm misremembering that. I don't really know, to be honest. There's a Jigglepuff. Or Jigglepuff. Oh, that might be there. Lullabies on the radio make my Pokemon sleepies. Jigglepuff? Jiggly. Oh, is this Miss... Yeah, there! Hi, I'm Yuna! You know about the radio program called Password? If you could tell the password from the program, you will wear points, save up those points, and trade them to the sweet lady over there for some choice prizes. Here you go! It's your very own point card. Oh, nice. Hey, blue card. <gasps> no way. Uh, the key pocket, tune in my password show. Yeah, totally, I know the password. Hi, did you tune into my radio show? Do you remember today's password? Heck yes. Uh, what was your name again? Chris. Okay, well, I literally just introduced myself to Dink. Hello, you bloody bollocks! I'm gonna hear a shout today's password. Password for Chris. <laughs> it's, it's a bug! I was cat. I don't know if you can redo this. Yippee! That's right, you did tune in. I'm so happy. You earned w one point! Are you kidding me? Yep, our contest was. Oh, winner was Chris. Thanks for coming. I wonder if it's possible for other people that we want, other people to win. I doubt it. Right. You cash in your save points for a lovely prize of your choice. Which prize will it be? Ultra Ball, Fuller Star Nugget, ooh, rare candy, protein iron. Wow. Okay. So wait, how much was this stuff? It's five points. Rare candy seems like the coolest thing you get here. So that's like cool. It's like unlimited rare candies. You literally just gotta wait. Sorry, you just got one. Oh yeah, you, you literally just gotta like play every day and get more points. That's a that's a cool way to make people uh, keep playing this game. You listen to the radio anywhere. Tune in. How about no, you little shit? I'm sorry. Uh oh, what's going on here? Sorry, authorized personnel only. Beyond this point, it was that way before. There's something wrong with the director. Oh, someone with a dictator, eh? What do I feel like? Team Rocket involved. Meh. Is there an elevator secret? Oh, it's a secret hidey hole right here. Ah, there might be actually, I don't know. <laughs> the city does feel very cerulean. I don't remember. What is this again? Station, right. Alright, we're gonna explore the right side of the city yet. I know there's a new bike shop, but I can't find it anywhere. Ah, interesting. What do we got in here? If you treat Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. Oh, let me see your Pidgey. You should treat it better. It's not used to you. Oops. Oh, oh. Oh, so, sorry. I hit a button. I hit the wrong button. Uh, when I use an item on my Pokemon, it acts really glad. I keep losing my battles, and my Pokemon end up fainting. Maybe that's why my Pokemon don't like me very much. Yep. Sounds legit. Lucky channel. Okay. Oh, that's why sometimes I actually skip over stuff be because uh, I, you can't click A, otherwise it exits out. What's this? The Rose of Psychopath Bike Shop. Ah, how much are bikes? Do I, do I get a bike voucher in this game too, or do I gotta actually buy it? <sighs> I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. So why is that? Could you ride a bicycle? Or oh, adventure for me? Oh, okay. Give me your name and phone number, and I'll loan you a bicycle. Oh, uh, you borrowed it though. How, how long do I borrow it? Bicycles are first rate. You can run them anywhere. How long do I borrow it? Forever? Hold on, wait. What if I talk to him again? Okay, he just says that again. So is the, really? Is that? Uh, do I just keep this for? Wow, that is surprisingly really easy. Probably key items, right? There we go. Cost a bike for for fast movements? Oh yeah. 
I like the the song in the first game better. Oh, really? I can't go in there? This town isn't actually as big as I thought. There's no gym either, hey? That's weird. That's weird, man. Oh, it's like instead of, oh, you know what I should do? It's, oh, I don't want to move it. Wait, what is that noise? How do you, oh no. I am in your pack, maybe register a freeze on the select button. How do I do that? So I was just pressing the select button right there and I wasn't doing a dang thing. So I guess maybe I gotta go through the underground passage first? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Where's the underground passage? Oh crap, is this it? Your playground, go around game corner. Oh no, that is not it. That's the, that's the mart. The mini mart, the mini mart. I like in games where it's like, oh, the city's so big, I can't find anything, but it's like, it's not really that big. <laughs> I mean, like I said, for like Game Boy wise, I mean, just even like today's games, like cities really aren't that big. Like sometimes they seem overwhelming at first. Station, yeah, where the heck's the underground tunnel? <laughs> I like how I'm making fun of it and also lost at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah. What the heck, man? we go north? Oh, we can't. Oh, there's a gym! I think that'd be, I thought that was the end of the town. You know what, the house rates your Pokemon names. You could even rename your Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. What, this house? Hello, hello, hello. I'm the name raider. I write names of Pokemon. Yes, please. <laughs> How can you possibly name Polly? So, let's, let's do stop. Hmm, stop, that's a fairly decent name. How about a slightly better nickname? Want me to give it a better name? I wonder if that looks, looks, means um, he'll automatically change it or what. Anyways, it's the end of the episode, everybody. Thanks uh, for watching, and in the next one, we will tackle the gym. Underground entrance. What the heck? Was I here? No, there's a different underground entrance. I'll charge to a battle downstairs. Drop down there. You better be careful. Oh, was it, there was an underground passage outside of town, maybe? No, there definitely wasn't. I don't know. Anyways, next time, we'll take a look at this gym and see what's going on in here. Oh, you know, Whitney, the incredibly pretty girl. Ooh, pretty girls. Pretty girl, pretty girl. Bye, everyone!